I spent $181,000 and some change. Do you think Carmax offered me anywhere near that? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we're gonna do something different. It's kind of trending on YouTube, but different to my channel. And that is taking my R8 RWS right there to CarMax to see what it is appraised at. This is my 2018 R8 RWS. There's only 999 of these produced and 320 came to America. What does RWS stand for? It stands for Rear Wheel Series. So all R8s up until 2018 were always with the Quattro system, the all-wheel drive system. But when they decided to come out with this, they said they would only do it one year for the rear wheel drive. It's the first time since the 70s that Audi's made a rear wheel drive car. But first, I need gas, and it looks like I need to pump my tires up. Well guys, just leaving CarMax, I was there for an hour and 20 minutes to try to get a price. They came up to me, not the sales rep that I talked to, but the actual guys that uh, value the car. And they apologized and said, we can't give you an offer. It was an odd experience. Although based on watching all these other videos where they take super luxury cars and collect the cars to CarMax, I did know it'd be different than normal. I've sold about two or three cars to CarMax doing lease buybacks, which I will explain to you in another video. But basically, when I pulled into CarMax, uh, there was already a line of two people in front of me. So they told me about 15 minutes until they can check my car. When the salesman came over, he asked me what car I had. I said, I have an R8. What year? 2018. And I left it at that. I wanted to see if they would get this confused with the regular R8 Quattro versus the R8 RWS. Once I gave them all my information, they told me it would take about 45 minutes to get me a price instead of the regular 30 minutes because this is a very expensive car. So an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 30 minutes went by and they still haven't given me a price. They did approach me, not the sales rep, now the guy that actually appraises the car came up and talked to me and let me know once they figure out a price due to the, the six digit price tag this car has, they actually go and check with other CarMaxes and higher ups in the CarMax uh, corporate world and they double check the pricing before they can give it to me. They asked me if I wanted to wait another hour. I decided, no, I need to go get lunch. And they said they would email me what they would pay for the car. About an hour and a half went by and I did get a, a phone call from CarMax letting me know what the price is. So, the sticker price on this car was 154000 approximately. I put a full body PPF film on there, which cost me about $5,000. I put a Quicksilver exhaust uh, on the back, which cost me another, I think, $4,500 to install. I had the red seats treated because my jeans kept rubbing off on the seat. That was another $700 approximately. And then I put this red stripe on, which is another 500 bucks. This red stripe was an option with the RWS, but I chose to get it in matte, so I didn't order it from the dealer. I decided I'd get it in a satin slash matte finish so it would stand out more. So what did CarMax offer me for this car? Nine months ago when I bought it, out the door with all the accessories I put on it, the PPF film, the exhaust, the, the treatment, I spent $181,000 and some change. Do you think CarMax offered me anywhere near that? They offered me $115,000. That's a $66,000 depreciation in nine months. Kind of sickening to hear that. That's $7,000 a month. When you think about it, that's crazy money. 
I have 2,800 miles on this car. So if we go 2,800 divided by, <laughs> hold on. So if we go 66,000 divided by 2,800 miles, I pay $23 a mile just to own this car. And that doesn't include their insurance. So is this car a good investment or a stupid toy? I guess time will tell. Well, thanks for tuning in to find out what CarMax would give me for my limited edition R8. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any other questions about my R8 RWS. So is this R8 RWS going to turn into a collector car and be a good investment? Well, right now the signs say no, because $66,000 in nine months is a nice Mercedes or BMW. So hopefully that curve starts going the other way and I can make some money in the next five, 10 years when I have this car still.